As you may know, our mayor here in Amsterdam, Eberhard van der Laan, uh, announced uh, a couple of months ago that he had cancer and that uh, he was sick and that he didn't know how long he'd be able to stay on as mayor. And some people uh, came up with the idea of gathering together in front of his house here on the Herengracht, which I just showed you, number 502, to applaud him. Um, uh, there's this big public gathering here on the Herengracht this evening to say goodbye. Unseen is the yearly high point of the photography world here in Amsterdam. And it's not just about Amsterdam or the Netherlands. Unseen is a, a huge international fair with work from, uh, of course, the Netherlands uh, and Europe, but also from the US, from uh, Doha and Qatar, from uh, Tehran, from Japan. So it's a big international event about unseen work, work that is new. That means it's a lot of fun, it's exhilarating, you see all sorts of new things, but it's also <laughs> really tiring. It's uh, uh, trying to figure out all the new trends and all the people that you meet. And uh, So uh, I think I've uh, reached my max for today. One of the works that struck me was by Charlotte Dumas, a Dutch photographer who works on uh, the relationship between humans and animals. And she's going to Japan next month to work on a film about wild horses in Japan. And I'm really looking forward to that. I think her work is, uh, is really uh, very deep and touching. Charlotte Dumas here at uh, Unseen, the photo fair. What are you showing this year? I'm uh, showing a couple of works that are just uh, sort of a toe dipping in the water, like the horses standing in the water. I'm uh, busy with a bigger film project in Yonagoni, the most uh, southern western island of Japan. Oh. And uh, where horses still run wild in, uh, on the island. There's the, the horses we see here, are these the Japanese horses already? Yes. So uh, I, I have done actually a very extensive project about uh, native horse of Japan yeah. for the last two years. Uh -huh. And from that project um, sort of sprang a new project. There was one of the islands that really struck me. And then uh, that sort of coincided with me meeting this girl. I think it would be best to show it through somebody's eyes, and she is the one. She is, she is the eyes. So instead of me just being the observer, I'm using her to sort of tell this story about this island. It's art. Yes. Yeah. Artistic. <laughs> also. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm looking forward to the to the film when it's done. Yeah. Thank you so much. I also noticed that there are a lot of black people 
not only making the photographs, but also in the photographs. A lot of studies of um, colonialism, of beauty, of the black body, and I'm, I'm glad to see that because it means that the worlds of uh, photography and black culture are finding each other, perhaps in new ways. So I'll be following that in the future. Amsterdam's uh, film institute called I is one of the partners of my talk show Stadsleve ever since the beginning. Uh, I has turned into a fantastic institute with very popular with the public with an amazing building which I wrote about when it first opened and I was happy to be, be invited to become a member of their um, ladies eye of the uh, donor group. And I was even happier when I decided to organize the very first trip abroad for some of the ladies who were members of the Ladies' Eye. So I am now on my way to the film festival of San Sebastian, together with about 20 other members of uh, Ladies' Eye. It's going to be a great opportunity to get to know each other, to uh, uh, cement the ties of the people who support the work of I, and I'm even happier about this now because we've just decided that Stotzlebe is going to do um, evenings about life in cities in I with a stronger film component than that we now have in the in the Bali. So I think in every sense the films we're going to see maybe I don't know but certainly uh, having a, a good time together with the ladies who support I is going to be just great. This is the waterfront of San Sebastian. It's a lovely place, children playing, uh, people sitting out enjoying the, 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 the autumn sun. Uh, the city hall here in the background where we're going to meet the mayor, who's going to welcome us because the public transport company of Amsterdam is buying a new series of trams from the transport company that is established here in San Sebastian. So our lady friend Alexander van Huffel, the director of the Amsterdam Transport Company, has introduced us to the mayor. So we're going to meet him and have a very special welcome here.
the white sala, so on 40 years. It's the Chomin Recondo, the owner, the proprietary of restaurant passion for the wine. The local wine, Chacoli, and French, Germany, Chile, Argentina, in the world. Three rooms. This room is the white wine, champagne, wine sherry, and sweet wine. Very special, this box. It's the best sweet wine in the world. Chateau de Cam, French wine, Sauterne. Yeah. Only yes. yes. Chateau de Cam. The bottle oldest? 59. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's the best year. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle oldest, 1933. Normal bottles, Magnum, double Magnum, and Matusalen, oh. 6 liters. Oh. The year is the 1983, 18,000 euros. Ja, en, en dus eindeloos, eindeloos, eindeloos te bladeren in die foto's en dan je eigen interpretatie erop loslaten. En niet direct Jans vader staan erop. Eigenlijk niet relevant. Het beeld van de man is er. En hoe het gevallen is. En dat vind ik een uh, geweldig mooie uitdaging. 